This is Will from Cigar Coop, and I am at the 2012 IPCPR trade show, and I'm in the booth of one of uh, the most exciting new companies in the cigar industry, I think, in 2012. I'm going to learn a little more about these guys. Uh, the name of the company is called Iconic Leaf. I'm here with J.R. Dominguez, uh, one of the men behind this cigar. J.R., thank you for joining us. Pleasure meeting you, bro. Okay, um, and we're going to talk a little about uh, the company and the cigars they have. So, J.R., tell us a little about your background, first of all. All right, my, well, I've been working in the cigar industry since I was uh, eight years old. I started off with my dad. He owns a manufacturing company. And uh, it just went off from there. You know, I had my first cigar when I was eight years old, so I've been smoking for basically my whole life. And, you know, it's just been, up until now, it's just been a beautiful experience. Excellent. So tell us a little about Iconic Leaf Cigars. All right, Iconic Leaf Cigar was a company founded by two guys that remain they wish to remain, uh, you know, uh, they wish their identities to remain undisclosed. That is because they don't want their their reputation to influence in the success of this cigar, this brand. And, uh, you know, we are just, Iconic Leaf is uh, a strictly boutique company. We are uh, very, you know, we are trying to do, the, do it the right way, so we are uh, limiting our production and we are uh, focused on going straight for the retailers. Excellent. And your first cigar is with the one we're smoking here. It is called the Recluse. Recluse. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little about the Recluse? All right, the Recluse, it's a Dominican cigar, uh, all Dominican filler, uh, grown in three different regions of the country. We got a Cameroon wrapper, a uh, Cameroon binder, sorry, and a Cubra wrapper, which is a Cuban seed Brazilian Maduro wrapper. Now, there's an interesting thing. Every leaf of tobacco that goes into making the recluse goes through eight fermentation process. Each pro each, uh, each process takes 90 days to cycle all, okay, all around it. So, uh, all in all, we'll, we're, we're, we're seeing here uh, two years worth of f fermentation. So, that means that every leaf in the, in the that goes into making the recluse uh, has at least two years uh, of fermentation, which allows the tobacco to be a lot smoother without losing its flavor. Okay, so um, as far as recluse goes, you have um, offering 10 sizes of this cigar. Yes, yes, we are offering 10 sizes, uh, seven of which are box press except for the 6x60 tarantula. And it goes all the way down to a 4x42 Petite Corona. And then we have the two new shapes, which are, this one's the canoe. The canoe was inspired, you know, it's a, it's a shape, it's a new shape, nobody has ever done this before. And uh, it is in, inspired in the shape of a kayak. What it really is, it's a box press perfecto. And uh, this is a really unique shape. I mean, yeah. I've never seen anything. This looks like an actual canoe here. Yeah, that's um, exactly. Right. Tell us what a little went, uh, a little back on what was the uh, thinking behind doing something like this. Well, it was inspired in exactly that. Uh, it was actually a friend of mine who inspired me to do this, and we just, you know, went with it. Got uh, when we got the molds, we started playing around a little bit with it, and uh, it came out to be such a great cigar that we decided to go full production with it. And uh, we even filed for a trademark for the shape. Excellent. And there's three sizes offered in the canoe. Yeah, there's three sizes. This is the biggest one. This is a 8x58. This over here would be a 52x7. And then we have a smaller size, which I don't have here in my hand, with, uh, that is a 54x6. Excellent. And um, as far as uh, the factory that you're using, um, Where's that factory? It's in the Dominican Republic, correct? Yeah, factory is called Tabacalera Leyendas Cubanas. It's run by me. Uh, it's a very small factory, very limited production. Since we try to make your, we're aiming to be the greatest factory in the world, and we're not trying to take any shortcuts. So we are. We rather take a little bit longer and make the right cigars than just go out with a market with a cigar that is not worth it. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, JR, you know, you and I have been talking the past couple of days, you really have a good handle on what's going on in the cigar industry. What are some of the trends you're seeing right now? Well, some of the trends, it's that uh, what I can see is most people are afraid now to come out with uh, with a big spectrum of shapes or cigar or sizes, if you may. Uh, most people, most manufacturers right now and brand owners, what they are doing is they are 
going for the big ranges with big ranges, uh, big ring gauge cigars. But I believe that that is taking away a lot of people. You know, you're not giving the opportunity to a lot of people to smoke your cigar in the shape that fits their needs. So that's why we are taking the whole spectrum. We went with seven regular sizes, all the way from a petite Corona up to a 6x60 six uh, uh, round cigar called the Tarantula, which is actually the only round cigar in the whole recluse line. And we don't want to take any shortcuts. We want to do it the right way. Excellent, excellent. When can uh, folks start expecting CDs in their brick and mortars? Uh, well, we are planning to ship out the cigars. As soon as I get back to the factory, they're going into full production. They've been they've been doing uh, small production now. I have to to increase the, the the capacity of the factory when I get back. But after we do that, we are expecting that by October, most people will have it in their in their hands. Excellent. So the name of the company is Iconic Leaf Cigars. I'm telling you, folks, this is uh, one of the most exciting cigars I've seen at the trade show this year, and um, I think you're gonna hear a lot more from these guys. So Jr. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. And good luck. Thank you.